The goal of this video is to demonstrate a Freescale and Oracle. The joint Java Smart Metering demonstration involves the following Freescale hardware. A Zigbee MK30 electric meter, a 1322X Zigbee coordinator, and a data concentrator P1025 reference design board. It involves the following Oracle software. Java SE Embedded 1.7 for Power Architecture, which is installed on the Data Concentrator P1025, and Java FX 2.2, which is used for the client application. The Java Virtual Machine is responsible for running the Java Smart Metering Data Concentrator application. The Java Smart Metering application is responsible for getting data from the meter, processing retrieved data, and storing it on a database. The Java Smart Metering application has nine loosely coupled components. These components can be managed by the Data Concentrator Web Admin Tool. The nine Java Smart Metering applications components communicate by exchanging asynchronous messages. The message flow is as follows. First, the scheduler sends a read event every 12 seconds to the meter adapter. The meter adapter uses the Zigbee protocol to retrieve raw meter consumption data. The raw data is sent to the meter aggregator component that converts raw data in JSON structured lightweight COSM. The COSM data is sent to the data processing component. The processing component calls the JavaScript engine to compute the instantaneous electric consumption by loading dynamically a JavaScript rule file. The processing component also calls the node information component to retrieve memory, CPU usage, and transaction performance performed on the data concentrator during each step of processing. At the end of data processing, the data processing component calls the data storage component responsible for storing all the data in a database. The database can be Berkeley Database or Java DB. The Java client receives data by using REST requests and displays them in a graph. The video shows the JavaFX client application connected to the RESTful service. The JavaFX client is connected to the RESTful server on port 8085. The request is forwarded by the RESTful server to the data storage component to read metadata from the data concentrator's Java embedded database. Now we can see on the JavaFX application the Freescale meter. The meter displays electric consumption in watts per hour. Each time the data is displayed, the left red LED blinks. The Freescale Zigbee electric meter provides raw data every five seconds. By selecting the second tab on the JavaFX client, we show the consumption as a graph. The red graph is the consumption on this date. The blue graph is the instantaneous consumption computed by the Data Concentrator JavaScript engine component. The Data Concentrator needs a minimum of two rows of data to compute the instantaneous consumption. Now we will increase the electric consumption by using a 1000 watt light projector. The JavaFX client blue graph shows the instantaneous electric light consumption raised to 1000 watts. The client also shows the estimated consumption price at 0.1 euros per hour. On the meter display, we can see and compare the consumption value on the JavaFX meter to the real meter. Going back to the JavaFX graph, we now decrease the consumption by reducing the light power. The client now shows the estimated consumption price at 0.05 euros per hour. From light off on the projector, we can see on the JavaFX blue graph that the instantaneous consumption is equal to zero. The framework provides a data concentrator web admin tool. After login, the browser shows the list of the nine installed components. Database, JavaScript engine, meter adapter, meter aggregator, data processing, scheduler, information node, data storage, and RESTful server. Each component can be managed or configured through the web admin tool. For example, by selecting the electric meter adapter, we can see 
the serial port used by the adapter, the serial rate, and the Zigbee cluster ID. The adapter can be stopped and started. By selecting the schedule component, we can see all of the events configured in the cron list. The read freescale meter data event is performed as follows. Begin date, end date, event period, every 12 seconds. The event is sent to the electric meter adapter. By selecting the JavaScript engine component, we can see all of the JavaScript files deployed on the data concentrator. The meter instantaneous rule .js file contains the computation rule used by the JavaScript engine to calculate the instantaneous electric consumption from the meter raw data. By selecting the RESTful server component, we can see the used port and manage the RESTful server on start and stop. The web admin tool cloud tab shows the list of data concentrators in operation. In the demo, only one data concentrator is running. This page displays node information as the type of platform, the number of processor or cores, the operating system, the operating system version, and CPU load as threads per minute. To summarize, in this video we have seen a Java smart metering application running on Java SE Embedded 1.7 installed on a Freescale P1025 data concentrator. The application leverages the power of Java SE Embedded features, RESTful APIs from the Java Embedded Suite, the Embedded Grizzly HTTP server part of Embedded Glassfish in the Java Embedded Suite, and Java Database either as Berkeley Database or Java DB in the Java Embedded Suite. The client application leverages JavaFX 2.2. Thank you for your time and your interest.